Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a speaker on an iMac G3 broken uh, broken uh, speakers. You know this uh, this uh, rat all the time, so you see it here. Um, in uh, Some people don't know how to, to replace them and I see them on multiple forums and everything, searching where they can buy this or how they can get replacement parts. Obviously Apple does not... Uh, sell any of those anymore so this is a broken one what i got i found on uh, aliexpress replacement speakers for just i think five dollar they look about the same they're a bit thinner inside and i paid for this two of them i'll show you this one it's already installed so i'll show you where it's installed and how i did install it and uh, i think i paid like six or canadian seven canadian dollars on these two and they fit perfectly in here they have exactly the same size and they the same diameter so uh, I'm not gonna repair this right now with you, so I'm gonna show you how I repaired the other one so you get an idea how I do it. It's normally taking less than 10 minutes if you know what to do, and you don't need anything but uh, the replacement speakers, uh, some um, electrical tape, and uh, some pliers. So let me show you the one that I fixed. So this is the second one. This is already fixed, you see? The, the membrane is fixed, everything fit perfectly. And it has like this spacer inside, if you see it. I made that one because the, the, the newer one are a bit thinner than the original one, which are a bit thicker. Don't forget, these things were done in the, in the year 2000, so I guess the technology then was pretty old, you know? But now they can make the same thing with the same power. I think this, there are five watts or three watts, so I don't know, I have to check it. I'll put it in the description, the link where I bought them. But um, these are a bit thicker, so... When, uh, when you want to replace them, I'll just open this one up. You just take them out from your iMac, remove this big screw here. So I'm gonna just show it to you how I did it. Really easy. So I'm just gonna pull this thing out here. And then normally, you will see that it has some uh, silicon between the parts. So uh, this this were made by, by I think, by Harman Kardon for Apple. And this, uh, this has a seal against air, it normally draws air by this hole and it pumps it in. So I guess that's how it works. Uh, I'm not an expert, but uh, I guess. So when you open it the first time, I was just putting it a screwdriver here and just twist them open. Something really simple, you know, and then it, they'll just pop out like this. I didn't stick them back together, but you always can put another line of silicone inside. So once you open these things up, you'll see they have the wires, basically you just pull them out from the old one. It has normal uh, pushed up, they're not soldered, you see? And uh, stick it to the new one. And then with um, electrical tape, I created this spacer here. So uh, they they rest against the middle pin here. And uh, when you're gonna put a screw inside, it will get even thicker. So normally it, it, that thing will push on it. So they don't move inside. Let me show you how it works. So now if I take out that spacer, you just uh, pull it out. I mean, I don't have any dimension for it. You just uh, uh, wrap it around as much as you need to, to fit them tight in there. And then you have this. And then you can take them out. And then you see even the notch they're making on the new speakers, like here, it fits. It has a groove in there. So you just sit it exactly as the original one. Really, really simple process. Now, the, the point, I don't know the quality of these things, if they're as good as, um, as, um, as the old ones, but um, I say, uh, I think they're better than nothing. <laughs> I, obviously, you can use headphone, and I don't think that nobody uh, will use this machine to listen high-definition music, and if they do, they'll probably have better options. Uh, this is just for uh, a retro fix. I'm a retro geek. I, re I love restoring old stuff, so I always kind of find this funny how to restore these things. So we put it back, put it back here. I just put it in the in the hole there. There you go. That will keep the speaker pressed against the plastic here. The original one has like a they were sealed here, but this one will do the job just fine. So just uh, center it a bit, and then um, when you put this thing back, you'll see it has like notches that will press on that uh, on that uh, blue plastic here, so it gets even tighter. So I just put them one on top of the other. And then um, you see, just obviously the the silicon you can replace that if you want. That's not a problem. And then um, you put the big screw back, and this will tighten it even 
they, they, it'll make that plastic even tighter again the speaker so it doesn't rattle around and then you just screw this thing out back a couple of turns and there you go this is not moving you see the membrane is working perfectly and uh, I think uh, this is amazing compared to the old one which is this is the original one it looks the same I think it's the same too it's just that this one is completely busted and need to replace so like I said they're a bit thinner if you see this one the original Apple one it's a lot thicker but this is a lot thinner um, now I will test them I didn't test them yet I will test them and I will let you know guys if I find that the the quality is a lot less uh, I'll throw, I'll throw, I, I don't think so I think they're pretty equal I mean it's 2018 and this should be pretty equal to what they were doing in 2001 in my opinion so thank you for watching and uh, if you like subscribe thank you